<laughs> Why in God's name, Collie, would I get this movie then? Ocean Drives films with Eclipse Dine-In Cinemas Bundoran. Now serving pizza, hot dogs, ice cream and more to your seat. Find out more at... It is time to join our man who looks like he's heading on his holidays. Uh, Eclipse Cinemas in Bundoran. Uh, Collie, very good evening to you. Yeah, I was just thinking, um, because obviously the weather here is horrendous too. And there was a letter oh, in the Irish Times recently about a foreigner saying about uh, Irish weather. I don't know if you saw this. He said, yeah. how you can tell the difference between winter and summer. Winter, it's about 5 to 15 degrees Celsius and everyone dresses appropriately. In the summer, it's about 5 to 15 degrees Celsius and people wear shorts and T-shirts. And I'm wearing my shorts, Hawaiian shirt, and I'm thinking about putting on the heat. <laughs> it's up, up this summer in Ireland. But, you Go know, we've plenty of stuff to entertain you despite the bad weather. You have some good movies this week now. You're going to kick off with The uh, Quiet Place. And I have seen a couple of these and and uh, they're going back to, uh, what does it call it? Day one. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and you're right. Uh, they, like we were saying off air, neither of us are mad into horror movies or anything. These were never really horror movies, even though they're marketed as horror movies. They're really intelligent thrillers, which had a great idea. What would people watch a movie where people couldn't make sound? And it turns out not only would they watch it, you're gripped to your seat watching what essentially a silent movie, I suppose. But like the start of cinema, when cinema changed the world, it was silent movie. Although, of course, those movies were never silent. There was somebody playing the piano. And the same with this. There's lots of noise. There's just not that much talking. So this clip is more atmospheric, really, Jamie, than, uh, yeah, it's just kind than of introductory. But I think it'll give people a sense of where we are again. Oh, it sounds great. And it uh, looks great from uh, the uh, the ads anyway that you sent me down. Uh, did, well, did, have you seen it? Yes, I watched it uh, yesterday morning, in fact, because this one's out today. It's, it's starting in about 10 minutes, has its first ever screen. And <clears throat> we weren't sure because, you know, sometimes prequels, oh, let's go back to the start. And so on. Oh, you go, oh, yeah. it's just a original story. But of course, the whole thing about the, the other one is when we first joined the, the first film, you know, the aliens are there. The attack has begun and people have learned to live and survive in this new changed world. But what's interesting about this one, it's it's set it all in New York City. And like it's such a cliche, but New York City is such a character in this in this whole film. And we know what the aliens are. We know that uh, you yeah. can't make a noise uh, or they'll attack you. But of course, nobody here knows it yet because it's back to day one. And one of the things that's very interesting in it so in the first movie, when the first scene you see, you see Emily Blunt, you see she's heavily pregnant and you're thinking she's going to have to give birth at some stage. Noise. We Noise. meet this character played by Lupita Nyong and uh, she we meet her in a hospice. She has very severe cancer. So we know she's taken a lot of painkillers. She's in a lot of pain. So it's a really unusual character to have at the centre a hero of the movie, even though, of course, it's something, you know, it's such a part of all our lives. And it just is a nice other twist on the normal hero stroke, you know, main character in these sort of movies. And they're on a trip in New York and the attack happens. And suddenly people find themselves with people they didn't expect. It. I was gripped to this movie. Right. I really enjoyed it. I was like, watching the cinema on my own, sitting on the edge of my seat the whole way through. And <clears throat> they're preparing the cinema to put in some uh, solar panels at the moment. So there are people up on the roof washing the washing the roof right to get it ready and I could hear them step every day and then I'd go oh. <laughs> like I'm a grown boy I know there's no there's no oogly booglies on the roof but still I was that into it I, I was stuck and okay it might go a little Hollywood at the end but I thought this was really good really enjoyed it people who've loved the first ones uh, will enjoy this and if you haven't you'll still enjoy this yeah because I don't think you have to have seen no, the first you ones don't. really you know, no, you don't. You don't, you there's a couple of easter eggs that you'll get a bit more from having seen yeah. it but you, no you don't need to it's just top class entertainment
absolutely. Really looking forward to seeing this. Right, uh, we have another one for you, and uh, it's uh, uh, Kinds of Kindness. Uh, that's where the music came from. That's why we were playing Sweet Dreams. Yeah. And I've been listening. I've listened to that song. I watched that at eight o'clock this morning, and I've listened to uh, "Sweet Dreams" about eight times since. So this is the team that brought us things like P "Poor Things" and "The Favors" and "The Lobster." So this we're in oddball territory, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Quick anecdote in the way of a review. My boss said to me, "What do you think of kind of kindness? Should we get it?" And I went, "Oh yeah." And he goes, "Is it not really weird and strange? And it's only kind of arty, and not everyone will like it." And I went, "Oh yeah." And he goes. Well, so you think loads of people will come? And I went, probably not. And he said, why should I get, why in God's name, Collie, would I get this movie then? And I said, because it's weird and arty and maybe not everyone will love it, but those who like it will absolutely adore it. And I watched it today and it's so good, Jamie. It is so good. So it's three stories, three different short stories, all with a kind of weird, almost supernatural twist. But what's un really unusual about it, it's pretty much the same cast of actors playing different characters in each of these stories. So we have Emma Stone, who was, it, of course, in Poor Things. We have Jesse Plemons, who's such a brilliant actor, was the scariest thing in the world in, in Civil War. And Willem Dafoe, who's also in Poor Things. They're all playing different characters, all weird. This weird man who controls everyone's life. I don't know what it was about. I only saw it six or seven hours ago. I would say in two months' time, when I've seen it at least two more times, which I'm going to see it again. <laughs> um. I still won't know what it's about, but it's how you feel. And it's so odd. And one of the reasons the Eurythmics is so suitable for it, because in these worlds of Yorgos uh, Lamanthus, I can never get his name right, is the director. He always has people speaking without emotion. And Sweet mm. Dreams is so good at that. You know, the sort of monotone there. It fits in so well. It looks like the future. It sounds like the future. I love this. As much as I love the Hollywoodness of, uh, of A Quiet Place, this being the weird arty one, I loved it just as much. Brilliant stuff. Okay, right. We we'll look forward to that. Now, uh, I, I don't know. Is this for the kids? It's animation. Yeah. It's the Greyhound of a uh, Greyhound of a Girl. And uh, what is I, it? I, I, I'm looking for grown ups. To, yeah, I'm no. It, well, it's for everyone. I I would hope it's by Roddy Doyle, and it's from a book uh, book series that was much beloved. Mm. Is aimed at at under eights and so on, but it you know, look I. I know I always want my cake and eat it. This is me summed up, right? Big Hollywood movie. Love it. Weird art movie. Love it. Little Irish animation. Love it. Right? Because this is what it's all about. Loads of different tastes and so on. And I love the fact Inside Out is doing so well, Jamie. The last time we were on, we were talking about it. And I said, oh, I think it'll do really well by the summer. What I didn't realise is everyone would want to go and see it in the first two weeks. It's been so big. And I love right. that it's huge. But I hope people will go and see this beautiful looking animation. Now, I've only seen the trailer because it only opens tomorrow. And we only got it today. And I haven't had a chance to watch it. So I'd say for under eights, it's a lovely story. And like all the best children's stories, there's important lessons. And I know this one's about, you know, children dealing with love and loss and families, different generations. And it looks beautiful. And it's good That's to support beautiful. It'll so sound good as well. I see Brendan Gleeson is doing Brendan Gleeson, Sharon Horgan. You know, we can't yeah. go much better than that like absolutely uh, I'll tell you uh, Missed It Monday yeah. and you're bringing a really good movie back and uh, music fans I love this Back to Black and you'd be thinking to yourself maybe I'm losing it you are but that's not the point not this time uh, That did we not have this a couple of weeks ago yes we did do you remember when we had summer a couple of months ago oh, and yeah. we had like two sunny days so the amount of emails we got going look you had Mr. Monday on the one really sunny Monday we had. Will you do it again for Back to Black? So we're bringing Back to Black, Black. That was hard to say. One more time. <laughs> uh, five euros on Monday because it was a really beautiful day. And people said, oh, no, I really wanted to see it. But, I, you know, I can't be going to the cinema in the sunshine. So it's back next Monday. One last time. Definitely the last time. OK, OK. That's uh, Back to Black. That it's a Mr. Monday for a fiver. For five, you can't go oh, wrong. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Uh, Kali, thanks as always. Uh, and and uh, enjoy the movies. We'll have you back here on uh, Thursday. I'm heading your country tomorrow. I haven't done any broadcast from Donegal tomorrow. I'll put out the red carpet. Oh.